This fourth module is about location-enabled digital government transformation. In this module, we will build further on what was being said, explained in the previous three modules to explain to you what location-enabled digital government transformation is about, to also provide you with some examples of this uh, location-enabled digital government and look at future challenges and strategies. In terms of learning objectives, after this module, you will be able to first explain what location-enabled digital government is about, Second, you will be able to provide and discuss examples of location-enabled digital government services. Third, you will be able to explain the main and common elements of strategic approaches to, uh, to and on integrating of integration of location into digital government. And then fourth, you will also be able to identify and discuss the various key challenges in the location enablement of digital government. In terms of structures, we here have, again, three chapters, where we first have a chapter in which we introduce location-enabled digital government. Second chapter is about two uh, in-depth case studies uh, where we showcase what location-enabled digital government is in two particular sectors. And then in our third chapters, it's where we will look at the strategies and the future challenges.